I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV Everywhere you look, there's a heart A hand to hold on to Everywhere you look When you're lost out there and you're all alone A light is waiting to carry you home Everywhere you look Good morning, Wilson Rams, and welcome to Ram TV News. I'm Starla France. And I'm Hope Springer. Today is Friday, April 1st, 2016. If you will be 16 by June 1st and may be in need of credit, money, or both, apply for Summer Jobs 253. You will learn and earn over $1,200 and receive two credits, so apply as soon as you can. There will be a field trip to Joint Base Lewis McCord in April. The focus will be hands on learning in STEM fields. Activities will include robotics, military vehicles, welding shops, and more. Sign up and get your permission slip from the Career Center or your JROTC instructor in the 900 Hall. Hello, my name is McKenna Swigger and I'm from Ram TV and I'm here with Mr. Jane Cash to talk about why it's important to vote at such a young age. So my first question is, why is it important to vote? Well, you know, here, here's the reality, all right? Most politicians, whether it be at the local, state, or national level, really don't give a lot of attention to issues that are important to young people. Why is that? Because statistically, young people between the ages of 18 and 25 vote the least of any other voting group in the country, all right? So if young people, and I always hear, you know, people tell me, you know, young people tell me this, you know, gee, politicians just don't, you know, we're, we're just not interested because they don't seem to speak to our issues. Well, they will speak to your issues if they see you as an important voting block. So it's extremely important to get out there and vote, register and vote. There's just nothing that stands in the way of a person, a young person, registering to vote and voting other than their own little bit of when initiative. voting, you need to keep in some things in mind when choosing the person, so what should we keep in mind when voting? Well, you you, you know, a lot of young people, they, they tend to, to kind of vote the way their folks vote, and that's kind of natural. But as you get older, you get to be 18, you, you probably want to step outside of that that circle a little bit. So you ought to think about, you know, what are you interested in? What are your issues? And then look for candidates that, that tend to identify with your issues, whether it be Democrat uh, or Republican. It might be one issue that is really important to you. Most young people that are interested in, you know, some kind of post high school training. So are there any candidates out there that are, that are advocating for those kinds of opportunities? Are, are there uh, one candidate more than another that's more likely to, uh, uh, you know, maybe create a situation where housing is cheaper, okay, which is be an important issue for a young person. So just, you know, young people have ideas, you know, you have issues. So just look for candidates that are most likely to advocate for those issues. Well, you heard it from Jane Cash, so go and vote, go and register, and I'll see you guys from Ram TV. Juniors and seniors, on April 22nd, there will be a field trip to the Pantages Theater. The production being performed is Billy Collins. You'll experience an unforgettable evening of music and poetry with an inside look at the lives of U.S. poet Billy Collins and Grammy Award winning artist Amy Mann. Washington State Republican Party is offering internships and volunteer opportunities to assist with the 2016 election cycle. If interested, contact your career counselor today for more information. Still conflicted on where to go next week? Then check out the top 10 hottest places to visit this spring break. Good morning Rams, welcome to this week's top 10. Today I'll give you the hottest places to go for spring break. Starting us off at number 10 is San Diego, California. This city has beautiful mild temperatures. Yeah, it's also home to a football team that hasn't made it to the Super Bowl since 1994. Next on our list at number 9 is beautiful Jamaica. These clear blue waters will make you want to stay forever. Ah, uh, Jamaica. You know, the country that single-handedly managed to ruin Snoop Dogg, I mean, Snoop Lion's career. Rolling in at number eight is Playa del Carmen. This low-key getaway is perfect for spring break. Can't be that great if I've never heard of it. Well, 
Sitting comfy at number seven is South Padre Island, located at the southern tip of Texas. This break destination is cheap and affordable. Yeah, so, wait, Padre? I wonder if I could find my dad there. At number six is Puerto Vallarta, perfect for the all outdoorsy types. And another unheard of place. You might as well just tell him to go to Narnia. It's Puerto Vallarta. Bullet dancing its way into number five is the well-known Maui. Its white sandy beaches will make you melt, along with the many volcanoes. Uh, I honestly can't think of anything bad about Maui. Keep doing your thing, Maui. At number four is Cabo San Lucas. The beautiful beaches and killer fiestas will keep you up all night long. Cabo sounds like a sin and for disappointment. Closing in at number three is the exotic Bahamas. These islands are sure to learn all the beach lovers. Finally, something worthy of being on the list. Sitting at number two is Cancun. Have fun knowing a hurricane could sweep in at any moment, but you know, whatever. And finally at number one is the gorgeous Miami Beach. Despite its temperamental weather, swimming with the dolphins is totally worth it. Sounds like a lot on your plate, honestly. You got the sandy beaches, the sunburns, and most of all, a horrible football team. Make sure to vote on Twitter for what you want to see next at WHS Ram T. Friday. The 13th, 2016. A day of pranks. Yeah. A day of newborn hatred. A day for rivalry. And a day for revenge. Mischief is in the air. <laughs> Those with the creative side working away at some of the most complex pranks. Those who are busy working to pull off something simple. And those who try to hide from the madness and all the evilness it brings. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes, got nowhere to run. I can't tell you what you can and can't do, but please remember that everybody has their own style of humor and everybody has their limits on how far a joke can be taken. My favorite phrase with pranks is confuse, don't abuse. Isn't it better to leave someone searching for an answer? Rather than them holding a grudge over you for all eternity. It's been 84 years. Attention seniors, the Wilson Scholarship application is now available on Ms. Sprick's website. Each year, Wilson awards a small number of scholarships on behalf of other organizations. The application is due to the Career Center by April 15th. Have you been keeping up with March Madness? If not, Ram TV's got you covered. Uh, I think Villanova's going to win the NCAA tournament. North Carolina is going to win March Madness 2016. Okay, uh, I think uh, North Carolina is going to take the dub in the 2016 March Madness tournament. Uh, I think North Carolina is going to win the NCAA double tournament. The winner of March Madness will be Donnie Garrison all by himself. I think that TCC is going to win the, uh, the in March Madness this March. Clearly, Oklahoma with Buddy Heald is going to take this dub in the Mar 2016 March Madness. I think that Providence is going to... I got a cheese stick, man. And I think Providence is going to win uh, the March Madness State Championship. Yeah, coming from you, Stephen Bellamy. National champions, North Carolina. Juniors, the UW Tacoma campus is hosting College Planning Day today. This is a chance to attend presentations by college admission counselors from colleges and universities in Washington. Thanks, Thanks for watching Ram TV. Have a great weekend and spring break. Go Rams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh, but all in a little bit real, I'm alright now.